Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Lawmakers are now floating the idea of a government takeover of ABS-CBN's properties and operations. Representatives Mike Defensor, Dante Marcoleta, and Boeing Remulia led a live stream conference with former ABS-CBN cameraman and resource speaker Jorna Lee Payonan to discuss the future of the network. Marcoleta says the government will ask the station to pay close to 2 trillion pesos in fines over their unlicensed sale of black boxes. The lawmaker says this amount should cover five years' worth of violations. Paano po kaya kung hindi hindi talaga nila mabayaran? So, anong next na hakbang? O ba di kung para... natangka nilang mga pag-aari dito sa Pilipinas? Marami pa naman siguro. Di attach natin lahat yung mga properties na yan. Oh. Eh, yun naman titulo nila. Hindi naman, uh, hindi naman totoo. Kaya pwede naman natin silang i-eject doon. Yung lupa, wala silang may mabubuhat doon. Lahat ng uh, mga chattels doon, improvements. E pag-aari na ng gobyerno yun, sapagat ang lupa ay sa gobyerno. Boeing Remulia says a takeover of the network and its frequency will be the best way to save the livelihood of thousands of ABS-CBN's workers while earning funds for the government. Walang alternative natin dyan. Una, gamitin ng gobyerno, o kaya pangalawa, ipabid out sa mga gustong gumamit para makaraise ng pondo ang gobyerno. Finally, Defensor put forward a scenario where the workers themselves will take over to own the station. This after Payonan told lawmakers that employees can run the entire broadcast operations even without the station's top executives. Maraming bansa sa Europa, talagang sila na ang nagmamayak ng uh, mga bawat station, broadcasting station. Workers union, workers cooperative. Workers kung pakinggan, pero may marketing yun. May uh, gumagawa ng pagbibenta ng mga commercials, gumagawa ng accounting, at kung ano ano. Coronavirus infections continue to rise in the Philippines. More than 2,000 individuals have contracted the disease in the last 24 hours. The country now has recorded more than 67,000 COVID-19 cases, and at least 43,000 of which are active cases. 68 patients died overnight, and the country's death toll stands at more than 1,800. Meanwhile, almost 400 patients have recovered from the disease in the last 24 hours, bringing total recoveries to more than 22,000. Now here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The DOH and the DOST are touting their locally developed RT-PCR test kit called Gen Amplify version 2. The health department says the kits are now ready for commercial use. A few opposition senators earlier called on the DOH to use locally manufactured test kits to save on money. They say imported ones are at least two times more expensive compared to the domestically produced devices. The, the budget department issues a new memo circular hiking nurses' minimum monthly pay. Entry-level nurses' position are now under salary grade 15. That's around 32,000 to almost 35,000 pesos a month. Senate President Tito Soto says SG15 should be the new base for all public health professionals. And local Chinese authorities are conducting relief work as water levels in various rivers in southern China keep rising due to torrential rains. Tens of thousands of residents have been evacuated all over the Middle Kingdom as flood water starts to submerge entire streets in several provinces. Now for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.